Hey again, everyone. Now that you've gotten into your research teams and set up your field notebook, it's time to start exploring Crystal Cove State Marine Conservation Area. As I mentioned earlier, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife defines an MPA as a named distinct geographic area, basically a place. But an MPA is more than just a place. The spirit of the MPA includes the animals and plants that live and interact there, and the abiotic factors like water quality that affect their health. And it also very much includes the people who visit and recreate there, who have long-standing ties to the ocean and land, or even use the MPA as part of their livelihoods. Before we start diving into how you can help us protect the Crystal Cove State Marine Conservation Area, we wanted to take a little bit to explore why it's important to protect places like this. To do that, we wanted to let you hear from some of the community members who are stakeholders in the Crystal Cove State Marine Conservation Area that you can hear from them why they consider this a place worth protecting. You'll also hear how California's MPA system itself isn't perfect. The creation of California's MPAs back in the early 2010s was very political. Even though everyone shared the same values and agreed that ocean ecosystems needed to be protected, they felt differently about what regulations needed to be put in place. Some groups like the indigenous tribal nations and the fishing community they didn't always feel like their needs were listened to or incorporated into the final plan. As we think about how we want to protect Crystal Cove State Marine Conservation Area, we think it's really important to hear and reflect on these different perspectives. In the next slide, you'll see a link to our Thing Link, which is a virtual tool you'll use to be able to explore Crystal Cove State Marine Conservation Area and hear from some of these different stakeholders. After you open the link on your computer, Click on the circle labeled with a number one to get started. I'll give you an introduction and then you'll be able to explore the thing link and learn more about these different perspectives. While you are exploring, use your field notebook to take notes on what you learn, including any particular challenges that Crystal Coast State Marine Conservation Area is currently facing, reasons why we might want to protect it, and any perspectives that really resonate or don't resonate with you. When you're done, you'll join your research team members to discuss what you've learned as a team. Thanks again. I'll see you all very soon.